Hello everyone. I wanted to show you my uh, project I've been working on over the weekend. Um, this is the Stack of Letters journal. Um, I followed a tutorial by Dawn, uh, the Book Vandal Shop. Um, I will leave her link below. The paper kit that I used is Grandma's Attic by My Porch Prints and I think it turned out really cute. Um, so let's just, yeah, let's just go. Okay, so there's a stack of letters and a journal. So um, the size is five and three quarters by nine and it's got about a half inch spine and we've got a seam binding closure over our stack of letters. I've got a little uh, pocket envelope, coin envelope pocket here with a little journal card inside. I've made it a tuck so I've got lots of goodies tucked in here. I've got a little tag with some crochet trim um, and some little pieces from the ephemera in this kit. I love these butterflies. They're so cute. I've got some cheesecloth and um, this is my nod to Stephanie over at My Porch Prints. She did this on one of her pages. Um, I've got some, some trim here that kind of dangles and I, I really like the way that hangs off the bottom of the page. I've got a uh, card here, a journal card, just in, and this is envelopes. These are, this is a four by six envelope. Make sure that's, yeah, so you can see everything. Um, I've got a pocket here with some trim, one of the ephemera pieces from the kit with just some, some uh, trim on the top. Here's one of my junk mail envelopes, and I've just got some writing paper tucked inside. I have um, collaged with pieces from the kit. Um, I edged, edged, aged, distressed, that's the word I'm looking for, distressed everything with um, kind of a, well, a pink color, it's pixie, close to my heart, pixie, so I'm not sure what that um, <clears throat> converts to, uh, Tim Holtz wise, but it's just very a pale uh, pink color, and um, distressed everything in that, um, because the papers were already distress but yeah some of the papers had little stamps and things on them so I use those um, then on this side I've taken a piece of lace trim and um, I've glued in the middle and around the edges to make a couple of pockets here here's some small tags with just some um, cotton trim on the top and <clears throat> excuse me I should have gotten a drink before I did this. Um, I've got a larger um, return envelope that I've used for this one. I've, again, collaging from papers from the kit. I've got the pink butterfly. And I just tied some. Um, this is some really cool thread. And I love the thread. I don't know what I've done with it. I thought I had it laying here. Oh, here it is. I love this thread. It's shiny, but the thing that I have the hardest time with is you cannot tie a knot in it. It just comes right out. So uh, his head got a little larger than <laughs> I had anticipated because he kind of loosened up after I applied the glue, but he still looks okay. I like it. On this side, we've got, um, um, that's the back of that envelope and I've just trimmed it. And then we've got another tuck spot with a piece of ephemera from the kit and one of the tags and another piece with a rose i love i love that picture i think i should um i need to enlarge that for my living room um here's a five by seven envelope i've i've taken one of the tickets added some trim all of these are papers from the kit that i've covered the envelopes with and i've just made this into a tuck spot um and when i'm hoping i can if I stay in the center, you'll be able to see everything. As this flips out, I've got a larger pocket. I've done a little bit of collage with some cheesecloth, some trim. There's a larger tag and um, another journal card there. And then in the center of this, I've taken... Um, in the middle here, I've got 
Um, I've just covered that with one of the background pages, but it, the kit came with several envelopes and, and different things, and I took and did a deconstructed envelope here. This is the pocket from the center of the envelope, and this uh, I made into a tuck. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I've just got some more writing paper. Um, that's a full sheet, eight and a half by eleven, and just some ephemera cards tucked in here. So um, yeah, I really like. And let's see if I can remember how I wanted it closed. Yes, like that because I want this on top. Um, I really like how this letter stack turned out. And then that's just tied with the seam binding. And then on this side I've got a seam binding closure for the journal. Now I haven't done an awful lot. Actually I haven't done anything to the to the journal itself. Um, I've got a, a pocket here um, that has you know some ephemera in it, some tags, some writing paper that in that pocket. And then what I've done is taken some of the back, these are beautiful background pages, and just tucked them in here with some doily, um, journal paper. You can see these papers are really cool. Um, it's a coloring page some graph paper, just my typical. And then I chose a center piece um, and I attached it to the writing page before it and that made like a little um, pocket. I just glued the top and the bottom and, and here. Um, and I've attached, um, attached, inserted a piece of paper there. I put an envelope in the center and so I've got another piece of a couple of writing booklets tucked inside of it. And then there's the other pocket with the writing paper. But other than that, um, I left it blank for writing because there's so much, you know, on the front. I do have a back pocket with um, some writing paper. There we go. And there's another postcard and an old calendar from 1916 and then a couple of tickets here but um, I didn't do anything to the back I left it as is there's so much going on on the front um, that I didn't want anything else to compete with it so I'm just tie that on the side with the seam binding and that turned out really cute. Um, I will leave Dawn's link below and also the link to um, Grandma's Attic by My Porch Prints. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.